What's up, Binge Bays? So I am at the ATM right now and I'm depositing some money for the kids so that they can buy a binder for their Pokemon card and organize them. Cause as you know, they just, well, I don't know if you know, they just started collecting Pokemon cards. They each bought cards from Target and they actually, Ava actually has an unboxing up on the Bench Kids TV channel. So go check that out where she unboxes all of her brand new Pokemon cards. They're, they all have their own video. So today I'm probably gonna be editing uh, Renato's and then I'll do Jarrell's. So that's what they're doing now. They're into Pokemon cards. They've been into Pokemon, but now they're getting into the trading cards and stuff and they have there's trading events in our area where you can trade your cards in you know and all these things so today is this today Renato woke up and was like hey mom can we go to the trading event and I was like well are your cards organized no which I told them if they want to go to these events have your cards organized and know exactly how much your cards are worth put post-its on it you know once you organize them in the binder put post it post-its on it this is Ava's card and this one's worth 20 cents this is Jarrell's card and this one's worth you know put post-its and then go there with knowledge don't just because somebody can say oh I'll give you if they they did they could sense the people that don't really know you know you guys are new so they know who they can do so they might trade you and say oh that one's worth 50 dollars but it's really worth five thousand you know what i'm saying so just just have an understanding of how what you got going on and then go and so they're going to get that together so next month we can do that um so that's what i'm doing right now guys i have a couple of transactions to do actually and then i need to order starbucks so i'll call you out I'll, I'll call you back <laughs> i'll talk to you guys in the next clip all right guys i picked up the starbucks and it is, it looks like everybody got teas, which got me to thinking, let me turn down Beyonce real quick, or Destiny's Child, this was Destiny's Child, I got to that. Those that know, know. Anyways, everybody got teas, so it got me to thinking, that's what this video is gonna be about. I am going to make homemade chai tea, and I, as you guys know, I stopped going to Starbucks for myself. I, I no longer order from Starbucks. It's been about what two months or so. I, I know how to make chai at home, but I haven't been making it. I made it once in two months, so I'll make it again today. And yeah, that'll be a good one. Another homemade video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next clip. This is the Pokemon binder they're getting, 400 cards. So I'm ordering it now. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my homemade chai tea. So right now I have my water in my pot and I'm turning it on high so it can get to boiling. But here are my ingredients for the chai tea. So first we have cloves, nutmeg, ground ginger, and cinnamon. And I use black tea, okay? You can get this. If you wanna do name brands, get you a Lipton box of black tea, whatever, but just get black tea. And so what I do is I, I do four at a time, four bags at a time, because of the amount of water that's in there. And then we're gonna add some oat milk. So once this steeps in the water for a while, I take them out and I add milk and I add all my ingredients. So I'm about to add these to the water right now and wait for them to steep. See you guys in the next clip. So you could go up to me. So right now, guys, the tea is done steeping. And when I, when I collect, over here when i collect the tea bags i put them all in like a slotted spoon and just press the rest of the liquid out of the tea bags like so but go ahead and get inside the pot so we can see what it should look like so it's nice and black right yeah i might not see anything but it's but it's it's because it's steaming in the camera but it's all right all right i'm gonna turn it off so the steam will subside but can you guys see don't mind Ava's pizza she just made. A tiny pan pizza, all vegan. But um, I want you guys to be able to see it. I'm ready to record. See how dark it is right there. All right, so let's record inside here. Next, I'm going to add milk. But she gonna add some milk, so it's gonna be brightened up, y'all. So y'all can see her. All right, so I have, show them the coconut milk. Oatly, I said coconut milk. It's oat milk, guys. He yeah, has oat milk. Oh, milk. I only have a tiny bit in here. Too, so. so it's not gonna lighten up as much. But it's like, but it lightened up. You see that, y'all? Nice. All right. It's nice. 
Nice. Nice. I like to get every drop, guys. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Now I'm gonna open up my other oat milk and All add right. some more. Mm -hmm. I need to shake it. All right, so it tells about that color or whatever color you wish. I also forgot to tell you guys that I also put, I forgot to tell you guys to put vanilla extract. About to add vanilla extract. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Vanilla extract. And that's about how much I'm gonna put in there. And I'm gonna add some ginger. Put that in there. Some ginger. Mm -hmm. As you can get from um, Kirk Guy, Kirk Guy on the Scott Place. The Kirk Guy Place. Um, all right, nutmeg. <laughs> cinnamon. And then cloves. And then we're going to put some sugar in it. I use raw, raw sugar. Oh, you weren't recording? Um, raw sugar, and so I'm gonna add that. Well, let me get another spoon. Taste it, see if it needs anything. Mmm. It's good. I'm gonna put just a little bit more sugar. That should be good. Hold on, let me stir it. I'm gonna let it heat up some more. Let all the ingredients combine. And then I'm gonna strain it, and then I'm going to um, get a cup. So. This is how we're looking right now. And we'll be back in the next clip. Okay guys, I have my mug right here with a Renato spoon. I have my mug right here with a cheesecloth over top so that I can strain whatever, um, you know, seasonings or whatever that, that might show up in your in your cup. Some people I don't mind it, but if you don't want all that stuff in your drink, then that's how you do that. Let me put some more. Okay, so there you go. This is what it looks like. This 
So I'm about to try it. So good. So yummy. Make sure you guys tune in for our next homemade series and we'll see you in another video.